Christie Pitts. Behind me is the hockey rink. In the last civic worker strike, hockey rinks like this across the city of Toronto were used as temporary garbage dumps. People brought their trash for close to 39 days and dumped it here in public space, in public recreational space. The consequences of the civic worker strike with garbage being dumped in parks and then electing Rob Ford as mayor resulted in garbage pickup west of Young becoming privatized. Currently, like the city of Hamilton, Toronto has a hybrid when it comes to garbage pickup. Currently, we have privatized contracted garbage pickup west of Young Street, and the Toronto civic workers are still picking up the trash east of Young. The consequences of the civic worker strike combined with garbage being dumped in parks for close to 40 days, and then in 2010, electing a city council that approved privatization of garbage west of Young Street has resulted in today, Toronto having a hybrid system. Half the city has privatized garbage pickup. The other half of the city still has civic workers picking up the garbage. Like the city of Hamilton, we've learned it's working. There is just enough tension between the civic workers and the contracted privatized garbage pickup to bring about the best in both. Because either knows that at any time, the other side can, at city council's discretion, take over the pickup of their garbage. In 2014, there is a question of privatizing the remaining half of the city. I don't believe that's the correct way to go. We should not privatize garbage pickup east of Young Street. The 50-50 hybrid model that we have here in Toronto, like in the city of Hamilton, is working. The status quo should stay when it comes to the privatization of garbage pickup east of Young Street.